Here's a story A lovely lady Who was bringing up three very lovely girls All of them had hair of gold Like their mother The youngest one in curls Here's a story Of a man named Brady Who was busy with three boys of his own There were four men Living all together Yet they were all alone Till the one day when the lady met this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunch That this group must somehow form a family That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the way we became the Brady Bunch What are you doing with all this stuff out? I thought you weren't leaving until Saturday. I just w don't want to forget anything this time. What's so special about this town? It's my first time going camping with the guys overnight. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't we see if we can score in the trash can? You better not. Mom will get mad. No, she won't. No one's home. favorite base. Mom always said, don't play ball in the house. There goes my camping trip. I can just hear Mom and Dad now. Goodbye camping trip. Maybe not. What do you mean? Well, you have to tell Mom and Dad in order to face up to this, right? Yeah, so? Well, suppose we didn't tell them right away. Suppose we waited until after this weekend. Well, they will see that it's broken. Maybe not. Not if we glue it back together. I mean, there are only four pieces. Mio! You guys are swell brothers. Yes, but we have to keep it a secret until this weekend is over. I won't tell anyone. I'm really good at keeping secrets. Just ask anyone. I guess it'll have to be all right. As long as he doesn't say anything. About what? <gasps> Greg for Mommy's favorite face! I didn't break it. I did. And he is not telling until later. Until after he comes back from his camping trip. Until then, it's a secret. Come on, help me put this vase back together. If one more Brady finds out, it won't be a secret anymore. <laughs> store to pick up a new potato peeler for our dinner tonight. Potatoes a la Alex. Come on, I have an idea. You stay here and guard those pieces. Okay. Well, the boys are out playing. Well, that explains half the silence. What about the other half? Well, the girls? Oh, here the herd comes now. I remember himself. Hi, Dad! Hi. Hi. Oh, what beautiful flowers! That's quite the greeting. These, however, are for your mother. Well, we know just the base for it. Yeah, I'll put it in there right now. Okay, thanks. Hey, be careful. Flat rag. Dry rag. Hey, we're all clear. Dad, Dad's in the store reading and Mom's not back yet. What about Alex? Oh, he's still back here with some potatoes in the kitchen. Oh. There, that should do it. How long should it take to dry? I don't know. It says two to four hours. We better put it back to let it dry. Hey, Alex, I brought the groceries. Hi, Mrs. Brady. Did you get the potato peeler? Voila. Oh, heavens, I'm running out of fingers to make. Oh, what pretty flowers. Are those for you or for me? 
Well, since Mr. Brady brought them, I'm pretty sure they're for you. <laughs> What's everybody staring at? The flowers. They're so beautiful. And they smell so pretty in that vase. Yes, but I think they could use a larger vase. I mean, they look like they're going to tip over. Why don't I go get the blue vase? Wait, don't you think you should do something different with the flowers? Like what? We could replant them in the garden. Yeah, they would smell so much prettier in the garden. Okay, everybody, you know you can't replant cut flowers. My goodness, I wish you were all this interested when I was weeding last week. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll get the vase, Mom. I'll help you. I'm great at arranging flowers. Since when? I hardly ever get the chance. Okay, make sure you put an aspirin in the water. Water? water. In the vase? <laughs> yes, usually... Flowers need water. Hurry back before the food gets cold. Plenty of food for seconds. Dig in. having cracks in it when your mother bought it. Obviously, it's been broken and glued back together. So who glued it back together? <laughs> I expect an answer after dinner. Mom? Yes, Greg? I should have told you earlier, but I knew it was your favorite. I broke the vase. I was jumping rope in the living room, and I know I'm not supposed to, but that's how I broke the vase. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm the one. I did it, Mother. Mike! You know what's peculiar about that vase? What? You broke it? Me? Seems to be the trend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, Marsha, Jay, and Bobby, and Cindy. That's five suspects and five confessions. You know what I think, Mike? Come in. Excuse me, can I bother you folks for a second? Go ahead, Alex. Well, I should have said something sooner, but I tried to replace it. I broke the vase. You? Yeah, clumsy me. I clapped ten thumbs on each hand. Come on, Alex. You didn't break that vase. Yes, I did. I was reaching for that shelf. You know the one that's always too high for me? I kind of knocked it off. Alex, the vase was on the table, not on the shelf. Oh, that's where I was moving the vase to that top shelf. So it wouldn't get broken. That's, that's, that's when I broke it. <laughs> Alex, it's very nice of you to own up to it. Well, I knew the vase was very special to you, and I didn't want you to blame the kids. Uh-huh, Alex. No thanks. Well, would you believe... Uh-uh. It's nice of you to try and protect the kids. Thanks, Alex. Well, we have five suspects and five confessions. Correction. We have six suspects, and the sixth had an overnight camping trip this weekend. Why do you think they call this meeting? Probably to tell everyone that I confessed to breaking the base. Oh, no. What? Someone had to? But I told Mom I did it. Me too. Ugh. You did too? It looks like we all confessed. Not me. You did? 
didn't? Well, I was going to, but then you guys had this crazy idea. I guess we're as much to blame as he is. Shh, they're coming. Now we're all going to get it. Well, one of you broke your mother's vase, and five of you confessed to doing it. Slight communication gap in this family. And those of you who confessed are just as guilty as the person who did it. So you all have to be punished. But those who confess are supposed to get a lighter sentence. That's not up to me, Jan. What do you mean, Dad? In this case, your punishment will not be decided by me or your mother. It will be decided by a jury of one, your brother Peter. Peter? How come? Because he's the only one that didn't confess. And that makes him innocent. I wouldn't make a very good jury. I'll be the judge of that. Now, Peter, you will decide what your brother and sister's punishment is going to be. And if it seems reasonable to your father and I, it will be the law. I'm not really old enough to make laws. You can start with your sisters. Would it be okay if I thought about it a while? Okay. You can sleep on it and make your recommendations in the morning. All right? I can't do it. I can't hand out punishments. Why not? I'm the guy who did it. I'm the guy who broke the vase. Look, you've kept it a secret this far. So just forget about it until you get back from your camping trip. Then you can blab all you like. I don't know. Don't you want to go camping? Do I? Real bad. But what's going to happen to you guys? That's up to you. Why don't we ask Mom and Dad to give us time off for good behavior? All you have to do is make the punishments easy. Like what? Well, I don't know. Me neither. It's kind of hard to punish myself. That's it. You guys can make up your own punishments. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll help Mom all day long in the kitchen. Next, Henchmaid's Cookies. Who's next? Marsha. Send her in. I have a great punishment for myself. I'll take Bobby to an amusement park. Taking Bobby to the amusement park? It's going to be a lot of trouble at his age. Well, taking Bobby to an amusement park or helping your mom make cookies is not an appropriate punishment. Peter, your brothers and sisters have done something wrong. We're trying to discourage them from doing it again. And I don't think Greg's going to get the message if you sentence him to a Saturday matinee with Cindy. <laughs> Why don't you ground him from going to the game on Saturday? Uh-huh. Have him take the screens down instead. I told you I wouldn't make a very good jury. I think you're going easy on them because they're your brothers and sisters. Why don't you take some more time to think about it? And this time, let the punishment fit the crime. Yeah, okay. Come on, Peter. You can't be late for school. Greg. Yeah, Peter? This Saturday, you gotta take off all the window screens. They gotta be washed and stored in the cellar, too. Bobby will help you. What do you gotta wash screens for? The water will go right through. That's not the punishment we gave ourselves. I know. But Mom and Dad didn't like your idea, so I had to make up new ones for you and the girls, too. I don't want to miss a ball game Saturday. I know. I'm sorry. Look, I didn't want to give out punishments. I wanted to confess. But you guys said, no, go camping. And now that you're missing a ball game, you're mad at me? I guess we did start it. And we're not quitters. We're not quitters. Mom's favorite vase. Mom always said, don't play ball house. Mom's favorite vase. Mom always said, don't play ball house.
Hey, Scott, he'll be right out. He's coming, dear. Okay. Peter? All right, son, you stay warm and dry. Have a nice time. Mr. Perryman's waiting for you in the car. Have a good trip. Mom, Dad, I can't go on the camping trip. I broke the vase. I really wanted to tell you, but I wanted to go. It's okay, son. Mr. Perryman. I guess I should tell him I can't go. For what reason shall I give him? The truth, Peter. Just tell him the truth. Yeah, the truth. Yeah. <laughs> 